Welcome, my name is Jörg Reimann and I'm the CEO of ChargeNow. It's a very interesting service that we have in the Now family. Because compared to other services like parking for example, the entire ecosystem of sustainable mobility is still quite young. And this ecosystem is fighting one key challenge. Let's have a look. So, you're thinking about buying an electric vehicle, but you're worried you might end up like Emily out of power, stuck on the highway, out of range of any charging station. We get it. The fear is real and it has a name. Range anxiety. Hey, it's no laughing matter. Emily knows the feeling well. Or she used to. Not anymore. Because now, Emily uses Charge Now, where drivers never have to worry because they're never out of range. They can go anywhere, anytime, confident they can power up on the go. Charge Now serves various automotive brands and fleets, including car sharing agencies. All these drivers can access a growing network of more than 100,000 charge points throughout Europe, including Ionity high speed charging stations. With the Charge Now mobile app or website, or through her car navigation, Emily can now easily find nearby charging stations that fit her needs and store them in her list of favorites. There's a good one right on her way home from work, and there's one close to her best friend's house. And just like that, no more range anxiety. Emily now has a single payment plan for all of her charging needs, and she can check her usage anytime, online or on the app. Even better, Emily no longer has to flip through numerous apps and cards when she needs to power up. Because with Charge Now, one app or one card covers most charging stations throughout all of Europe. Just pull up and scan your card, or ask Siri to start your charging session, recharge, and go. It's that simple. Emily really likes that convenience and the peace of mind that comes with it. Thanks to Charge Now, Emily said goodbye to range anxiety, and you will too. So plug in and power up with Charge Now today. So, if fighting range anxiety is your mission, then you have to connect various dots. So you have to be open to all car manufacturers, to all brands. You have to be open and connect all cities. And especially, you have to integrate the so-called charge point operators. So those who really provide the infrastructure. And your impact is that you raise their utilization and monetization of the infrastructure. So this is a model that works quite successfully. We are present in 25 markets in Europe and beyond. But that means that every kind of manufacturer that connects to our platform is able to access the charging infrastructure in these 25 markets. 25 markets, in other numbers, these are 100,000 charge points that are connected to our network. Or in other words, eight out of 10 charge points are accessible to the clients of this network. For this, we connect over 250 charge point operators internationally. And as said, this is a growing business. We're still small, a small business segment, but as EV sales rise, our charging infrastructure will raise as well. So summing up, our vision is to be the one-stop shop provider for public charging internationally. We are currently the largest provider in Europe and beyond and we are relying on a strong set of partnerships that we will extend internationally. But the same as for parking, we have to look beyond. In the mod modern eco ecosystems of mobility in the urban areas, the borders between different services will dissolve. And parking and charging will be the first to merge because autonomous fleets in the futures, future need both services as key ingredients. This is for sure. And within the bigger now family, we, and this is our vision, we will be the industry platform for vehicle integrated services. Um, and providing with these services, we will make our cities cleaner, healthier, and more livable. So much for the vision, so much for the future. We have ambitious plans also now. So we will extend our portfolio within Europe. And clearly, we are investigating options in the US and in Asia to grow. And the next merger, the next integration will clearly be with parking services, but we have other plans also beyond that. Thank you very much.
Good morning, everyone. My name is Mark. I'm the CEO of the Free Now Group, and I would like to use the next 10 minutes to give you a little bit of insight of what we do and where we're heading in the future. Most of you probably know ride hailing in this context, especially in Europe, um, the brand MyTaxi. MyTaxi by far was the earliest company that we had in our portfolio and was really the nucleus of ride hailing in Europe. But by now, the group has expanded massively, and today, the Free Now Group is more than five different brands. And we are really the leading ride heading company in Europe and the fastest growing company in South America. And I would like to go with you through the next couple of charts to explain you a little bit more where we're heading. Free now is not only Europe. Free now is a lot more. We have five brands. We are active in more than 17 countries. We cover more than 130 cities worldwide. And we have 1,400 employees. Actually, by the end of 2019, we will have more than 2,000 employees in our group. Today, more than 250,000 cars and drivers are partnering with us to trans more than 21 million passengers each year. It's massive, and it's a massive growth story. If we look where the company was three years ago, in 2016, the company was less than 15, 13 times smaller than it is today. We grew by 13x over the last three years. I don't know a single company that has shown such a tremendous growth in Europe anywhere, not even in our industry. If we look at the last year, even last year on a tremendous base, we managed to grow the company by 80%. This is a massive, massive growth. So if we think about ride hailing in this context as a vertical, it is really a true growth engine for the whole free now group. Ultimately, all these results ended to transport more than 150 million people and doing 150 million rides in a single year. And the interesting fact is, more than 45% of all these rides are not done in Europe, but they are done in South America. So it's much more than just a European country. Diversification for us is really important. We have a very, very large user base, and for us it's important to see urban mobility as a holistic picture. And we believe that ride hailing can offer more services, and that's why we looked at micro-mobility to launch a new service on our customer base. The whole project, we started in 2018. It took us only three months from idea origination to implementing a first pilot in Lisbon, and we launched a new brand, Hive. It was a massive success. If we look at the numbers, in the first couple of weeks, we reached 50,000 customers using our micromobility service without any advertising and any PR and any marketing. And the real important thing is, more than 50% are reoccurring users. They use our service more frequently, and that's on a weekly basis. These are typically KPIs that you don't see in ride hailing, and that's why we see it's a such a strong fit to our existing portfolios. Our key to success is working very closely with the local governments. Anything that we do in the taxi industry, anything new that we do in the ride hailing industry, we do it in very close collaboration with the local governments and the regulators, because we believe in the long run that's the only way to succeed and really change urban mobility for the good. And that's the same thing that we're doing for micromobility. If we look at the successes that we had, that instilled a lot of confidence in our team and to our shareholders, and we're going to expand this product into more than 20 cities in the next year. Ultimately, talking about growth, 2019 is everything is about growth. We're going to scale the company even faster than in the past. And we had a good, good start at the beginning of the year. The first major launch that we had in January was Mexico. We just launched Mexico three days ago, and we're doing more than 10,000 rides per day already, only after three days in that city. This is massive. It's more than seven rides per minute launched only after three days. The second very big launch that we did is Geneva with the brand Captain. When we acquired Captain in 2018, it was still named Chauffeur Privé. Since those four months, or within four months, we actually developed the tech stack in something that can be internationalized into more markets than just France. We rebranded it so we could use the brand to internationalize because Chauffeur Privé is very difficult to internationalize. And now we launched Lisbon last year and we launched Geneva just a couple of days ago, and there's much, much more to come. For my taxi, we are already present in all European metropolitan areas. So for us, it's really expanding into smaller cities across Europe. And we will um, expand into the first city, Gijón, which is in the north of Spain, but we will do more than 40 cities this year and going into second tier cities and expanding our footprint. Now, one of our highlights for this year will be the captain launch in London. London is one of the key metropolitan areas in Europe, and we're going to make a massive hit on the city starting in March or April this year. Where does this leave us? Um, Rebranding for us is really important, and making the Free Now group visible 
So the collaboration with the other verticals of its share now, our reach now, our park now, our charge now, we're going to take our biggest asset in Europe with the most visibility and with the biggest brand recognition, and they're going to take the lead in the rebranding effort, and we're going to do this in 2019. All the other brands, we would look at on a phased approach, because as I said, growth is for us a fundamental strategic objective, and we always have to balance um, a quick rebranding where there's a hindrance on growth. Ultimately, within the next two to three years, everything will be rebranded to free now. Summing it up, our intention is really to make urban mobility and on-demand mobility more affordable, more accessible, and more sustainable. And we want to use our existing customers of 21 million customers and more than a quarter of a million drivers as a basis for massive growth in the future. So if you think about ride hailing, think about growth, because that is our core objective. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Reach Now vertical. Why is Reach Now the very perfect name for our vertical? Because mobility is not everything, sorry to say, but actually it's much more important to people to get somewhere, to reach their final destination. So um, what is important? Where do you want to go? What do you want to reach? And that is where we will get you. We will get you there now with ReachNow. My name is Daniela Gertomarkotten. I'm the former CEO of Fleetboard in the field of freight mobility. And from my academic background, I'm a business engineer with a PhD in IT security. What is the vision of the new um, joint venture? It's a world without traffic jams. Because honestly, who wants to stuck in traffic? It's pain, it's a waste of time, and you really feel helpless. So no one wants that. And if we can contribute to have less traffic jams in the world, we really made urban areas, cities, a better place to live. And that is what we are striving for. And therefore, I'm so excited to have the two most innovative companies merging in the ReachNow joint venture. It's Movil on the one hand side, which is a mobility as a service pioneer for years and offering multimodal services, including public transit for millions of users. On the one hand side, and on the other hand side, ReachNow, which has the very first app with ride hailing and car sharing in one single app. And it's not only about aggregation, it's also about operating these two services. And by bundling these two into one, our goal is to be the global mobility as a service provider in the future with ReachNow. But how do we do that? We want to create mobility as a service platform. The most important thing here is the customer, the citizen, because he wants to get around perhaps in the fastest way or in the cheapest way. And so it's important to bundle all the different means of transportation, as you can see here, in one app. Is it taxi? Is it car sharing? Is it bike sharing, scooter? Or as we have now to new companies with us um, in the joint venture, parking and charging is important as well to really create a holistic mobility ecosystem for urban areas. And what is also very important, public transportation. It's for us the major pillar to offer a true service. Because honestly, in the biggest cities in Europe, at the average, 50% of all transportation so if you take um, car, foot, bike, whatever into account, 50% in the model mix is by a public transportation. That is why it's so important for us. And even more important, it's all in one app. And you can not only search, you can search, book, and pay. Everything in one app, and that makes it so convenient for the users. Because as you know, one click too much can already mean that that of the, of the app because for the users it's not seamless enough. That is what we do and you probably want to see how that looks like. So we created um, a demo app for you to give you a flavor how we want to do that in the future. You can see here the different modes of transportation that you can choose from 
And as you can see, we're an open platform and all the different modes of transportation are bundled together because we figured out that people usually know which means of transportation they want to choose. And you see parking and charging, we added this here to enhance the mobility ecosystem. If you want to dive deep, you can go there and as you always say, see, you can just buy a ticket with one click and then you're ready to go. The other way around is that you say, I want to go to a certain destination, get me there. Then the app will show you how long it will take you with the different modes of transportation to get there or if you are a more price conscious person, then you can see the price tag here and then you can pick and choose what is most convenient in your specific individual um, situation. And that means it will be your mobility companion for your everyday mobility. Another thing that I want to introduce to you, and I'm really happy um, and proud to announce that here and today, is the mobility budget. Because for us, it's a true booster of the mobility as a service platform. But what is mobility budget? Put yourself in the shoes of an employee, especially one who has his um, office in the city center of Berlin, for example. Does he really want to have a company car and search for parking lots um, all the way? Or does he want only have a job ticket? No, especially millennials ask for more. They want to have flexibility, whatever situation uh, they're in, choose the different modes of transportation. On the one hand side, and what we also see, they want to melt in what is private and what is work and don't care anymore. I just want to get around if it's for my daily commute or is it to get home from the party in the evening. It should be all in one app. So that is what we provide. On the other hand side, for the employers, it's really interesting because in the war of talents, to offer such an employee benefit can really make the difference. And it can make a difference on another hand side to really be a sustainable company and employer. Because, you know, world without traffic jam, this contributes as well to reduce traffic in the cities. And many companies want to contribute to make more livable cities. So therefore, we introduced it already. So it's live with several daughter companies um, of Daimler. And many companies, we are already in talks and are very, very interesting. But today, I'm happy to announce that for all Daimler financial services, so you know the future mobility AG, all em employees in Germany will get the mobility budget from March onwards in 2019. And I think that is a true booster for the platform. As journalists always ask for numbers, here are some numbers for you. Um, so currently we are operating in 21 cities with our joint venture. Um, we are serving 6.7 million users as their mobility companion. And that means um, we have 1.1 um, or we have one transaction every 1.1 second. Good to go with the numbers? Then let's sum it all up. Our vision, as I said, is a world without traffic jams and we pioneered mobility as a service in 2015. But what we want to do, we want to be the leading mass platform powering multimodal experiences for people throughout the world. And that means together with all the other joint ventures, we create a mobility ecosystem that serves the citizens. And whatever mode of transportation they need, is it car, is it ride, is it taxi, bus or train, we integrate it all in one app. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, warmly welcome from my side here in Berlin. My name is Olivier Repair and I'm the CEO of ShareNow. ShareNow combines the two international leading players in the area of free-floating car sharing. On the one side, coming from BMW, DriveNow, and on the other side, coming from Daimler, Car2Go. These are two well-established companies with two strong brands. What does it mean in facts and figures? 
With an international footprint, especially in Europe and North America, we will offer to the more than 4 million customers a fleet of more than 20,000 cars. 20,000 is a very impressive number. From my point of view, if you look into the details, it's even more impressive. We know that our free-floating car-sharing customers, they love cars. They love to drive cars. But they know they do not need to own a car. And with a broad range of very attractive, diverse vehicles, we will offer to our customer a vehicle for every single use case they have. With the BMWs and the Mercedes, or in the smaller car segment, with the Smart and the Minis. With the more than 3,200 fully electric vehicle, I have one important message. The future of free-floating car sharing is fully electric. But what does it mean first on streets? On streets, you will still see drive now and car to go. We will use these two strong brands to do the transition from drive now and car to go to share now. Means we enter a co-branding phase. Drive now joins share now, car to go joins share now. Our teams are working since three weeks together. And I think it's not a surprise that both companies worked on complete different tech stack processes and system. We have one important target. We want to offer to our customer in a couple of months one share now application, one app, with one vehicle backend, with one customer backend, means with one login for our customer. But in the meantime, I have a very good news. Till today, it doesn't matter if you open the Drive Now app or the car to go app. Via deep linking, you can see all our vehicles. And for our free floating car sharing service, a high availability of cars is a key success factor. And with this deep linking, you will have in the cities where we are both together, I would say double the cars you had in the past. And I think this is a very good message to our customer and for the customer experience. Finally, let me add that free floating car sharing is a perfect match to public transport. We know that with our service, we improve the quality of life in the city. We help to reduce congestion. We help to reduce air pollution, and this is specially highlighted with the more than 3,200 fully electric vehicle. And that is only the beginning. Thank you very much. So welcome, my name is Jörg Reimann. I'm CEO of uh, ParkNow, and I welcome you to the coolest mobility service to digital parking. Yes, because everything starts and ends with parking. Have a look. We don't travel by horse. We don't use pay phones. So why are we still parking this way? Well, that's changing. You see, this is John. John has a very special date. John is trying to figure out how to pronounce Buff Bourguignon, not still standing in line to pay for his parking space or fumbling with a parking meter. It's because John downloaded the free Park Now app. Wherever John needs to park, he just pulls up the app, sets his time, and goes. And when he needs a few extra minutes to keep a good thing going, he just extends his time remotely. Nicely done, John. Park Now is a smarter way to go. Whether it's paying with the touch of a button or reserving your spot in advance, Park Now has you covered. Looks like the date went very well. John's ready to introduce her to his buddies at the big game. Once again, Park Now has his back. Now John and his friends can reserve spaces side by side at the stadium for some seriously epic tailgating. Whenever planning ahead matters, Think Park Now. John's never late for a meeting because he knows he has a spot waiting in that busy garage downtown. And he can always sleep in before that early morning flight because he knows his parking is taken care of. Park Now and its current brands, Park Mobile, Ringo, and Parkline, 
are available in over 1,100 cities across North America and Europe. From street parking, parking garages, airports, stadiums, college campuses, and more, over 27 million people across the world use ParkNow to find their space. So before you go out and about, let us get you parked so you can get moving. This is Smart Parking with ParkNow. So summing up, our customers love digital parking because it turns parking into something simple, quick, and effortless. And big cities love the service because it dramatically reduces search traffic. And the data we provide help in steering traffic flows. And at the end of the day, it nicely contributes to the city budget. This service is now present in over 10 markets. Um, and here comes the network effect. The more customers we have in our service, uh, the more cities apply to our service, and the, again, the more customers we can connect. This currently works in over 1,100 cities worldwide. This translates in over 30 million customers. But it means seven transactions per second. So by the end of this presentation, there will be over 2,000 transactions issued worldwide. And here comes an important message. So we are far be more than just a digital parking platform. Um, data is a new oil, as we all know. And big data means big scale. And if you want to be relevant for uh, big cities like London or like Paris, to support them in their traffic management, you have to be able to provide big scale. And in fact, London and Paris, they are relying on our support, they are relying, relying on ParkNow. And another important message, this is a huge market we are in. Parking is huge, yet the digital part of it, as we see, is still quite tiny. But even conservative projections see this overall parking market to grow, but the more important grow will definitely come out of digital parking. So definitely an interesting business to be in. So summing up, parking is one essential part of the mobility ecosystem. And today we are based on the market leadership in Europe and in North America. And we are innovation leader in in-car integration. Our service is integrated in Germany, in Austria, um, as well as in the US. And we are rolling out the Netherlands and UK still this year. But we have to look beyond. Because let's face it, in the urban mobility ecosystems in the, futures, in the future, services the boundaries between services will dissolve for sure and will be part of a bigger now platform. And our vision clearly is to be the provider of the industry platform of vehicle integrated services that then at the end of the day will go far beyond just parking to make our cities cleaner, healthier and more livable. So much for the vision, what will happen still this year. So we are close to open a new city here in Europe, it will be Zurich, and clearly we will work on in-car integration and we will expand our connection to other members of the NOW family, starting with charging. Thank you very much.